car going over a hill. We now have a car going over a hill, which has been exaggerated so we can do the problem. The hill has a curvature that approximates a circle of radius 300 meters. So if we draw out the full circle here, that radius there is 300 meters. So if somehow the car could go through the earth and come around, it'd be in circular motion. At what velocity will the occupants of the car appear to weigh 25% less than their normal weight or their normal weight times 0.75? And where you're going to weigh the lightest is right up here at the top. Let's explain normal weight in this 25% business. Normal weight, another name for that is weight is equal to mg. Now I put the one in front of there so you can see what we're doing next. 25% less than one is one minus 0.25. And what is that? Well, that's 0.75. So 25% less than your normal weight, and it gets a little confusing here, right? Because normal is not always equal to the weight. So we're making this word do double duty, but for here we're gonna say normal weight is when you're just standing on a scale and not moving up or down. So 25% less than your normal weight will be 0.75 times mg. So here's our forces again. The normal force is pushing you up. And what's another name for normal force? Apparent weight, that's what you feel like you weigh. Mg is what you weigh when you're just standing on a scale. That's your quote unquote real weight. But the normal weight is what you feel like. And we have acceleration going down because you're at the top of the hill. Newton's second law, normal is in the up direction, that's positive. Mg is negative, that's in the down direction, as is the acceleration. Substitute in the normal force, which is what you weigh, what you feel like you're weighing, which is the 0.75 mg. So now we subtract mg from 0.75 mg, we get negative 0.25 mg is negative ma. Divide both sides by negative 1 or multiply by negative 1. So we have positives here. And what is acceleration? Well, we're in circular motion, so that's v squared over r. And then once again, I combined a few things here. So let's just do it up here, 0.25g equals v squared over r. Multiply both sides by r, and what do we have? We have 0.25g times r is equal to v squared. Switch them around, v squared is equal to 0.25gr. Then take the square root of both sides, and what do we have? We have v is equal to the square root of 0.25 gr. Substitute in our values, and we get 27 meters per second.